There is a new travel trend on the horizon thanks to millennials. It's called experiential travel and it lets you go beyond the regular tourist attractions. Travelers choose to experience the city through culture, food and nightlife. The new trend is drawing millennials to cities like Seattle, San Francisco, Austin, over other cities. Thanks to the unique food, events, and culture, each of those has to offer and many more. So why the shift in the way to experience these popular cities and others? Travel expert Kendra Thornton is joining us. Uh, Kendra, millennials are doing more, it seems, for a little less money, experiencing a lot more rather than, say, okay, I'll go two weeks in Florida. They're really branching out. Why is that? You know, it's interesting. Millennials are the fastest growing segment of travel right now. They take on average four or more leisure trips per year, which is a lot more than other age groups. And this passion for travel is really sparked by two reasons. The first is they've been hardest hit by the economic downturn. So they see travel as an opportunity to maybe explore the world, take a break from the job search. And secondly, they're a little less skeptical to wait on travel until their golden years. You know, they really want to see the world now while they have the time. Also, this this millennial age group is extremely tech savvy. They have no problem picking up their smartphone or tablet to plan or book a trip. And with the influx of these mobile booking sites, it's really making it easy for these uh, age groups to really plan trips spontaneously, which is how they prefer to do it. I think it may actually help them with their job search long term because you learn so much while you're traveling. That's exactly it. I've talked to millennials who have taken, you know, two month backpacking trips and they've said it really helped them build up their network so that when they did find a, a career that was right for them, they already had people that they knew around the world that could really build upon that. And, you know, one thing that's really cool that these millennials are really into doing is sharing and creating these unique travel experiences. I mean, they are all about the social networks. In fact, it's interesting. Three out of four millennials will post to a social network at least once a day while they travel. So they they want to create these authentic, non-fabricated travel experiences in the destinations that they're going to. And one place that's really drawing millennials to do this is a mobile app called GoGoBot, which is great because it allows travelers to really connect based on shared interests, whether it's someone who's into arts and culture or foodies or people who are looking for a great nightlife. And it's called Tribes, and they can really connect and share these experiences so that when they visit a destination, they're kind of seeing it like a local would with a very authentic, like behind the scenes experience so it's very different than the backpacking of yesteryear they really have their friends through Twitter and they're really not alone essentially with tons of friends on Twitter or Facebook that's absolutely true. I mean, they really want to maybe share their travel experiences with their friends through their social networks. They also maybe want to meet up with people around the globe as they travel. Maybe they're building up friends that they haven't met in person, but connecting and meeting them in person in, in other countries, which is um, definitely the way the millennials approach this. And finally, are they cutting costs anywhere? What are some of the travel saving tips you have for us? Are they maybe looking into where to stay for less money? You know, it's interesting. Millennials are not as cost conscious as you would expect considering their youth and job situation, but definitely they are leveraging their social networks to help them save money. They're getting tips and ideas from their friends through social media. They're also going to, you know, for lodging, they like Airbnb is a popular one. They also like a new one called couch surfing, which helps them save money on lodging. And for flights, they're big users of a flight aggregator site called Skyscanner. The beauty of youth really doing it now and thinking about the consequences later. Kendra Thornton, thank you. <laughs>